This question appeared in IES 2023 paper. The question says this, that suppose there is a monopolistic competitive market and there are 11 firms there. And all of these firms, they have the identical demand and the cost function. So there is a demand function, there's a cost function of the kth firm. Assuming that the number of the firms in the industry, they do not change, that doesn't change. Determine the equilibrium price and quantity of the representative firm. So one thing, if you look at this kind of demand function, I'm the kth firm. The price which I'm going to charge is going to be dependent upon the quantity which I'm selling. And it is also dependent upon the quantity which my competitors are selling, right? So if you look at it carefully, it is what? Summation of I starting from 1 to 11, QI, I not equal to K. So it means there are 10 other competitors. They are, they are identical competitors, but there are 10 other competitors, right? So the price received by each firm is the function of quantity sold by this particular firm and the other firms in the industry, right? So although that's not the part of the answer, but let me just write this. The this So what do you actually mean by this? The price received by each firm is a function of quantity sold by each of the end firms in the industry. Each of the end firms in the industry. You with me? Uh-huh. So what also you have to understand is that uh, although this, this coefficient is small, right? So for example, if I'm going to increase the amount of the quantity sold, my price is going to change by this magnitude, that is two. But if the competitors are going to change their quantity sold, my price is going to change only by this magnitude. So this magnitude is smaller as compared to the coefficient attached to my own quantity. You have to understand this. But still, although it is small, but you cannot neglect it. Right? So, uh, so I want to write few points even for the, this is not the part of the answer. I'm just writing few points here. Note that. Note that. Quantity change of the representative firm affects each of its n minus 1 competitors right to the same degree So, that the effects of, uh, of the movements of any particular competitor is going to be negligible on me. You with me? So, the effects of, Yafir, you can say the effects of my movements will have a very small negligible impact on my particular competitor. So, I mean, all competitors, I will, I will be uh, sort of affecting my all competitors. But on a particular competitor, it will have a negligible, negligible effect, right? The effects of 
her movements, representative forms movements. On the price. of any particular competitor are negligible. These effects are negligible. Right? So I will be acting as if <clears throat> my effects do not have any effect on uh, my competitors. So I'll be acting independent. Right? So, <clears throat> right. Achha, ek cheez aur hai. That is, in at equilibrium, all firms would be producing the same level of output. So there is that is a symmetry uh, approach. So supposedly, if it is because all firms are identical, that's what has been written out here. And if it is profitable for me to make one particular choice, it is also profitable for you to make that particular choice. All of us have seen demand function. All of us have seen cost function. So if any particular move is profitable for me, it is also profitable for you. Are you with me? Right. So if it is. If it is. So we do not have to write this much in the answer. I'm just writing a few points so that what we write will become clear to you. If it is profitable, For the representative firm to make a particular move it is profitable for all other firms to make the same move, right? All other firms to make the same move. So, I mean, that equilibrium, all of us in that particular case will be producing the same level of output in that particular case. So that's what we are trying to say. I'm a monopolistic firm. How will I find out my equilibrium? I will be equating my MR to MC. That's what I'll be doing, right? So can I write my TR first? My TR is going to be what? PK into QK. So that is going to be 150 QK minus 2 QK square minus 0 0.2 summation of I starting from 1 to 11 QI QK. Huh? That is TR of the kth form. What is MR of the kth form? That is going to be 150 minus 4QK minus 0 0.2 summation of I starting from 1 to 11 QI I not equal to K. So this is for my competitors only, right? Since all firms... will be producing identical output 
under present scenario. So when I say present scenario, I mean, because all firms, they have the identical cost function, identical demand function, right? Scenario. So how can I find out this summation of I starting from 1 to 11? QI, I not equal to K. Ye kya hoga beta? Right? What will this be? This is going to be 10 QI, but I, QI kya hai? Matlab, main maan leta hun that uh, this is equal to what I am producing. All other firms will also be producing same. So can I write this QI as QK? Right, 10 QK. Uh, so summation of I starting from 1 to 11 QI, I not equal to K, 10 QK. Okay. Ye baat sa hai na beta. Yaha pe 10 hongi na firm. I starting from 1 to 11 hai. But I not equal to K. Meri firm nahi hai is mein. 11 firms hai. Mera competition kitne se hoga? 10 firms se hoga na. Mere ilawa. So that is 10. So these are identical form. And all of us including me, all of us are producing QK. Mani jay mein kuch output produce karo. Wohi output aur sab bhi produce kar rahe. That is what it is. Right. Achha. Can I now again write my MRK? 150 minus 4QK 0.2 into 10QK. 150 minus 4QK minus 2QK. 150 minus 6 QK. Mm -hmm. Okay, what is MC? MC is also simple. So MCK is what? Just differentiate your cost function with respect to QK. So once you do that, what is your MCK equals to? 1.5 QK square minus 40 QK. Plus 270. Right? Plus 270. Now, the kth firm will equate MRK to MCK. So what is your MRK? 150 minus 6 QK. What is your MCK? Is 1.5 QK squared minus 40 QK plus 270. You just have to solve this. So it is 1.5 UK square minus 40 plus 6 minus 34 QK plus 270 minus 150 plus 120 equals to 0 plus 120 equals to 0. Right? We just have to solve this. We just have to solve this. So once you solve this, you'll be getting uh, QK equals to 2 by 3 or uh, root of 109 plus 70. Right. And uh, so this is uh, and you also get this minus 2 by 3 I guess uh, root of 109 minus 70. You get this also. Right. This is going to be approximately 18.29. And this is going to be approximately 4.33. Hmm? So larger one is relevant. So your QK comes out to be 18.29. PK is 
वन फिफ्टी माइनस टू क्यू के माइनस पॉइंट टू टेन क्यू के नो माइनस पॉइंट टू टेन क्यू के सो वन यू सॉल्व दिस आई गेस यू बी गेटिंग सेवेंटी सिक्स पॉइंट एट फोर सेवेंटी सिक्स पॉइंट एट फोर so my main concern was to tell how to actually solve this particular problem huh? so so i hope it was of some use to you thank you beta